With your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers. All right, so we've got clear skies going on for us today, and that's going to continue into the weekend, and that's going to make it warm as well as we roll into Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures climbing back into the 70s. A few showers are in the forecast. Next front arrives late next week, and then really cold by next Thursday. It's going to plunge us well below freezing as we go into the latter half of next week. Temperatures right now, we're sitting at 56 with clear skies. Humidity is at 23%. Winds are out of the north west and around 9 miles an hour. Pressure setting at 30.47 inches and falling rapidly at Mathis Field. Current temperatures across the region setting in the 50s. 53 in Sterling City and in Barnhart. 54 in Ozona. 54 in Brady. 52 in Eden and 56 in Junction. Daytime highs for the next five days as we go through the weekend. Temperatures going up into the 70s by Sunday. We'll stay in those low 70s as we roll into Monday and Tuesday and then we'll drop off into the 60s on Wednesday. I think 62 may be a little bit low but it's all going to be dependent on that next front that's going to swing through our area. Day planner for Saturday. We're going to start off on a clear and cold note tomorrow morning. Temperatures falling into the 20s and then into the 30s by 9 o'clock. We'll get to the 50s as we head towards lunchtime into the 60s as we roll into the afternoon hours. Clouds and radar right now across the Lone Star State. Nothing to really talk about. Things are pretty quiet and that's the way it's going to stay for us at least through the weekend. It'll be sunny and warm, maybe a few passing clouds, but then on Monday, look at this, we've got an upper level low that's going to bring a chance for a few showers. This is early Monday morning, look at the timestamp, 4.30 in the morning, so this is going to happen overnight Sunday into Monday morning. Right now, we're going to keep rain chances at about a 20% chance for Monday morning. As we go into next week, we've got another cold front that's going to push through. And behind this front, there's still a lot of questions about this system and a lot that needs to be monitored and kept an eye on as we get closer to the end of next week. But there could be some moisture behind this next front that transitions over to some wintry weather. We're going to watch that very closely as we get into the end of next week. Otherwise, things clear out as we head towards next weekend. Tonight, we dropped around 26 under clear and cold conditions. Winds out of the west around 5 miles an hour. And then for our Saturday, we'll We'll top out near 66 with sunny and warm conditions. Winds out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour. As we go through the next five days, we're going to see a very sunny, very warm weekend. Temperatures climbing into the low 70s as we roll into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday into Thursday. It looks to be the best timing on this next front with a slight chance of some wintry weather as we go towards the end of next week with highs coming down into the 30s next Thursday. Stay with us. We've got more KCN News coming up right after this.